Welcome back, everyone, to the next installment of Bloodborne. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can grab the item that was by Patches. Or if it just pushes me in again. Now I can just take it. Alright. Cold blood, flower blood, I'll take it. And now... I don't think I ever went in here, either. Clockwise Metamorphosis. I think we've gotten one of those before. Yeah, so boosts max HP 5%, 10%. Hooray! Well, that's not bad. Anyway, let's go back to the swamp. Now, I'll get, I'll get closer to the exit, I think. It's those giants that are bothering me, though. I need to find a way to get over there. I guess it's a tunnel to the left. Maybe it'll give me a chance. Because I really want that giant dead. He's giving me trouble. But at the same time, I don't know if I could even make it into the swamp from here. No, I can. Scary enough for you? Oh, uh, well. Frenzied cold blood. That didn't get me what I want, but that's kind of nice, actually. Yeah, isn't this area just earlier in the level, like way earlier? I guess I could go over to that glowy area. See if this does anything for me, but I don't think it really does. Yeah, this just loops me back around, it looks like. I guess I'll go back outside. Oh, and they have followed me. Look at these kindly creatures. Yeah, this just takes you back here, the cave. Oh, for some reason... Ugh. For some reason I have the axe equipped? I must have slipped my finger when I was playing. That was weird, but I pretty much got my health back anyway. Odd. And these guys are just following me everywhere. I'll shut some of them up. Keep that frenzy away from me. And it's over. These creatures are so loud, aren't they? But how on earth can I get to that giant? That's my big question. I would really love to know how to get up to that giant and take him out. I guess I gotta go back in the drink again to have a chance of finding out. At least it shut those crawlers up for a time. These things are awful. And this is such a great way to drain all of my freaking blood vials. At least if I hug the wall, I can't get rocks thrown at me. Oh, hi. Oh, a way out? I'll take it. Wait, where did I hear? Oh! Secret! More shards, but I'll take what I can get. Clear deep sea. 
Oh, there's the giant. Thank you. Poison res plus 200. I'll take it. That feels good. That guy was really giving me grief. Now, what the hell did I just hear? Yeah, there is... Oh, from ground level. These guys just don't give me a freaking break. Guess we're doing this again. Actually, this will be a little annoying because I'm not so fast in the, the swamp water. But hey, if I can take him out. There we go, that actually wasn't so bad. And I even managed to avoid poisoning. Oh, no I didn't. The poison is draining because it's affecting me. Ugh. I'm good at video games. More cold blood flower buds. I'll take them, I guess. There we go. Anything to shut these guys up. The swamp should be about clear now of uh, boulder throwers, though. These guys are always a little annoying, but... That's so gross. It's like they want to spit the poison with the little guys, but they just it looks like they just sneeze or something. They can't, they can't quite pull it off. Oh. No. Hooray, more shards, my favorite. I'll take the madman's knowledge. Now let's go back to the exit area where I was hanging out by the, the giant. And somehow avoid getting poison. This is going pretty well. And we're out. Oh no. God damn, like that frenzy just goes up and up. By the way, I didn't mention it last time, but these guys are apparently called Winter Lanterns. And if he's just gonna come my way, then I am in some trouble. He just strolls up to me like it ain't no thing. Oh god. Well, that's terrible. So apparently it's not just the sight of him, he activates it. Good to know, but that's a lot of eyes. Jeez, do I need to go out and buy some sedatives or something? Because that's no good. Oh, two chunks. Thank you. And that's full circle. Madman's knowledge. Yeah, I'm thinking that's probably a no.
Oh, man, are you kidding me with this? And more swamp. Madman's knowledge. Oh, that looks important. I'll wait for that. Three blood vials, yes please. Oof, apparently he's a dark beast. And there's nothing up here. A whole lot of wandering nightmares in this vicinity though, it's crazy. More crawlers, obviously, back down to the swamp. Ah, this is what I want. This will take me back to the beginning of the whole area. That's what I want. Very good. Very good. There, that clears the pretty much the entire area. I like that. Those roots hanging from the, the ceiling or whatever? It's weird. The architecture of this place is so bizarre. Which I guess further fits into the Lovecraftian style mythos. That's a lot of crawler. Again, anything to shut them up. A little tinge of frenzy. I thought it would take one of them out. There it is. They're so loud, you know, just quiet. Make them quiet down. There, isn't that just nicer? However, where's this poison swamp area? Because, oh, well. Madman's knowledge. Because this is a whole different area to drop into, I think. I don't think this is a, a Patches the Spider deal. And I can't really talk to Patches. He was way high above my head. Oh, didn't see you. I kind of thought that that would kill you, but it didn't. Frenzied cold blood, I'll take it. Oh dear god. That sound. Oh, that was the wrong thing was building up, I was thinking poison. Alright, you're out of here. Oh no 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 no, I'm gonna die. Oh, wait, 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 wrong, wrong item. That was close. I think I just managed to... I think the frenzy got me, but it didn't quite kill me. Goodness gracious. Ugh, their heads are just made of eyes, and they can induce frenzy. It's ridiculous. There, shut that guy up as well. I'm using way too many blood vials in this lousy swamp. Frenzy cold blood. More of these creatures, it is endless with these things.
Bold Hunter's Mark, I'll take it. More freaking slow poisoning. Let's get out of that frenzy. Thick cold blood again. These guys love dropping their thick cold bloods, which I do appreciate. And now I'm up here. And we still got a crawler down there. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I already got the clear deep sea. Still, though, I'm missing something somewhere. Yeah, just making my way around a cliff like it's nothing. This might be something. Well, lit elixir, that's a little something. Oh my god. Gross. Alright, now I'm gonna try catching up to where I was. I'm not going to take the super shortcut yet. I still want to make sure I've got everything. Ugh. I use up so damn many blood vials in that stupid swamp. It's the worst. So we go across the bridge, take out that one lost child. You're out. Oh, that's right. This is where we got that clockwise rune. Well, that's good for me. Oh, stunning deep sea. I'll take that. I don't even know what that is. Poison resistance, that's very good. Description is otherwise the same though. Well, good for me. Oh. Oh, there's something in here. That feels pretty good. Frenzied cold blood. Beautiful. not really much to see here. And there's that other lost giant way down at the end. Okay. Alright, moving on up and over. I never got this item above the lost child. Two blood vials, yes please. even a wandering nightmare, which still gives me mediocre crap. And another madman's knowledge. Cool, now I'm back in this area. Okay.
And we're back and things are quieter. I like that part. I guess I'll just run to the damn cave. This swamp sucks. Oh, right. And the bad news is that I want to find the Winter Lantern in order to get my bearings. I don't actually need to fight the Winter Lantern, but he could show me where I'm supposed to... Okay. There he is. I'm out. That's enough of that. Did not work. Now I'll just hope that I'm going the right way, because I can't quite tell. It's always difficult. Actually, I think I finally found where I need to be. Kin Cold Blood, 10, a freaking insane item. So there should be one more thing that I'm missing, and then I can just leave the dungeon. I hope it's in here. Maybe not. Actually, maybe yes. Let's, uh, let's get rid of that frenzy gas. Yeah, this, this might be what I've been looking for. Forget that Winter Lantern, I ain't having none of that. Crap. So much for my attempts to be clever. That builds up my frenzy faster than I would like, unfortunately. And they keep spewing it. This is not good. There. Gotta shut them up. This might be the last thing I need. Great Deep Sea. Now I'm done exploring. This was unpleasant. Oh, it's a new one. Increases all resistance types. 100. Nice. That's a good one. Well, it probably doesn't say anything new, but I'll check it anyway. Yeah, augmented general resistance. That is pretty nice, though. Now I can finally be done with this dungeon. Finally, 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 finally. This was driving me up the wall. Oh, well, I guess I'm just dead. I'll take you down with me, buddy. Ugh. What a gross creature. Alright, let's make our way to the end of the dungeon from the very beginning. Think I can do it? I really, really, really hope that the Winter Lanterns continue to be this infrequent. One of them is nearly an instant death. And I can't buy sedatives at the shop. Unless maybe they're in the insight shop. I have to double check that actually. But at the regular shop, that is a no-go. What a combo. And there's my goal. So now the question is how I make my way over to that path. It looks like I just hop some tombstones and I'm good to go. Yeah, actually this was very easy. What are these? They look like stakes or sculptures or something? It's a lot of them. You know this is a boss arena. Amygdala. Oh, oh. Oh, no. Got your arm. Oh, whoa, 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 I'm sorry. Got your arm. A 
I don't want that. Ew. Too many arms. And the leg is not very vulnerable. It's all about the arm. Gross, gross, gross. Let me out. Let me out. Okay. I gotta say, the the amygdala that just sits there in Yara Ghul are way scarier. This thing, actually, I don't know if it's even as big, is it? And what happened with that left arm? Jeez. Almost beating this thing flawlessly. I think it ripped its own arm off. Ow. Let me just clear out first. Uh oh. That's unfortunate. I almost had it. I gotta say, I really appreciate that you only have to kill two creatures to make it to the boss. I'm less appreciative of the fact that the boss is just kind of waiting for me. I don't like that. Got your arm. Got your arm. God, so angry. Let's full heal. It's so weird that I'm actually fighting one of these. I don't even know what that red attack was. Crap. Man, one hit really takes you out. I mean, I guess... What did you expect? Oh, his head's good too. Unlike Rom. Ah, crap. Now I gotta watch out for those arms. I wanna stay in so he can't throw a proper punch. I lived? There was no excuse for me living. I don't know what that was all about. Yeah, you can't hit me if I'm under you, buddy. Unless you do that jump thing. This boss is actually kind of easy. Oh, I'm hitting the... I'm, I was hitting the arm that's already been ripped off. No wonder it didn't do anything. That's embarrassing. I'm hitting the freaking army to cut off himself. I'm clearly not the sharpest tool in the shed. Screw this, I'm going for the leg. Or the tail. Got him. I actually killed one of the amygdalas. And it give me a chalice, ailing Loran Chalice. Chalice of Ailing Loran? Okay. Did I just get two of the same Oh no, I got Amygdala and the Chalice. Sorry, I just read that I got the item and it threw me off that Alright, so why is it ailing? And I need Ritual Blood 4, I can't even do that. But it's a fixed dungeon. Loran is a tragic land that was devoured by the sands. The tragedy that struck this ailing land of Loran is said to have its roots in the scourge of the beast. Some have made the dreaded extrapolation that Yarnum may be next. Well, now I can pretty much just beam back to the dream, because there's nothing for me to do here. This is a dead-end area.
Remember how I beat the one reborn in Yara Ghoul and then just kind of didn't walk forward? Well, that's where I'm going next. But first... Yeah, that was expensive. Can I do anything cool with my cleaver now? This is the Tempering Blood Gemstone, which... Yeah, no poison effect, but I really don't care. Yeah, no, I'm good. Anything better with these gemstones? Not really. Yeah, no, I'll pass. We're good. Now for fortification. I can do Ludwig. Damn, that feels good. A level 8 Ludwig's Holy Blade. Physical attack 180, where my cleaver plus 9 is 171. I might actually want to equip the Holy Blade now. That thing has some real potential. I don't think I could do anything with my guns now because I just spent all my freaking twin shards, but that was nice. The Saw Cleaver does have nice quick attack, but then again, that is respectable. And it takes up far less stamina to use. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Okay. And we got the long sword thing that's like the best item in the game in Dark Souls 1, like the first sword you get. And then we get the greatsword form. That is considerably slower, but it's devastating. And it has an even longer thrust. I might want to try Ludwig's Holy Blade. This this weapon has some real potential. And I'm gonna buy some damn blood vials. In fact, you know what? Let's just go all in. Nah, well, now that I cleared an area I could grind for blood vials, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll level a little bit. Let's use all my cold bloods. I've just been sitting on them. Thank you, crawlers, for giving me these minor power-ups. Look at all this. Thick cold blood. Worth 1800 all by itself. We have Frenzied. 3,000 by themselves. We have 9, Frenzied 9. 5,000 by themselves. This is beautiful. And Kin. Oh, actually, I just realized, I remember. I feel like garbage because after all that, I really wanted to level up, but I'm also neurotic, so that means that I'm doing this. Oh. And I don't think there's anything new I can buy here, either. Yeah, no, that's it. Ugh. I feel like crap for having not leveled up once. But, I bought the stupid expensive items, so now I can stop concentrating on that stuff. Pretty- this is pretty good in every way, actually. Except for being below the Kanehurst helmet. And even then, it's on par with my hunter's hat. This is pretty good, actually. I might even consider equipping it. Yeah, I might actually do this. The bolt's defense is ridiculous. It goes from 10 to 70. Arcane doubles. Thrust goes up 20. And everything else is up a little bit. I might actually just want to keep this on. I look kind of like an idiot, but it is what it is. Anyway, for now, it is time to stop the installment. 
Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today, didn't we? We beat the Nightmare Frontier, which turned out to just be a dead end. Pretty cool that the lecture hall took us there, but hey, we actually fought one of the Amygdala enemies, and we beat it, and we got a chalice, which means that we now have three new chalices to take us into fixed dungeons. So that ought to be quite interesting, but now we have to get back to where I suppose the game intended for us to go. The Nightmare Frontier was sure uh, an interesting hellscape to check out, but I guess it wasn't the way. Until next time, everyone.